The Dennis Walters Golf Show recently came to Tamarack Golf Course in East Brunswick. The show is a one-hour combination of golf lessons and life lessons, full of great golf, great fun, and an inspiring message. Well, I've always loved to play golf, and my big dream was always to play successfully on the PGA Tour. I had an accident in 1974, which left me paralyzed from the waist down, and at that time, it's looking pretty bad for my dream of becoming a professional golfer. While it would have been easy to give up on his dream, life without golf was never an option for Dennis. Well, I started out with trying to figure out some way to cope with what I thought was a pretty hopeless situation. The fact that all my dreams went down the drain. I had no shot of playing golf, according to everybody else. But my dad, my best friend, and I figured maybe there might be a way. I started by hitting golf balls from a wheelchair. I really didn't want to live my life without having golf in it. And this was my first attempt, which was great for the practice tee because I could hit, the, I could hit balls all day on the range to get my swing back and start working on my game, but I couldn't play golf on the course because I couldn't push the wheelchair all the way around. We then came up with this idea for the swivel seat, and that's really the way I got back on the golf course. It allowed me to still play golf sitting down. The main reason why people said I'd never be able to play golf is they said, well, you can't stand up. How in the world can you play golf? Wheelchair, swivel seat, here we are at Tamarack. Dennis hits several trick shots in his show using a variety of rather unusual clubs. Walter's theory is that with a good swing, you can hit a good shot with anything. And he Don't proves this to be true by using clubs made out of a fishing pole, radiator hose, and more. Our show is great golf, it's great fun, but there's a point to it. And the point is, if I can do this, something almost every single person said would be impossible to do, then I want them to relate this story to their situation. It's a universal message. It, it applies to anything. Not just golf, it applies to everything. So if they can get this concept that very few things are impossible, if you're willing to work hard, persevere, and hang in there, I mean, no one's going to give you success. But if you're willing to do all those things and hang in there for the long haul, you can achieve success at anything. And that's what I want. Pe I want people to leave here with a smile on their face, something to think about. And if we do that, then we've done our job. Dennis began touring the country with this message and has made over 3,000 appearances since 1977. And for the past couple of years, he has been joined by a very special friend. Bucky is the opening act in our show. Even Frank Sinatra had an opening act. And Bucky's going to come out here. He's going to put a golf ball on a tee. He's going to dance around. And he's going to answer questions. He barks out the answers to questions when the answer to that particular question is a number. He's very good in math, general information, and he knows a lot about golf. How many times did Jack Nicklaus win the Masters? Six is right. How about Arnold Palmer? Right again. How about Tiger? You are correct, sir. How about me? Right again. Okay. The PGA of America recognized Walters as one of only 11 honorary lifetime members for his work and dedication to the sport. It's one of the nicest things that ever happened to me. It's one of the things I'm most proud of. And uh, three of those people are, were presidents of the United States. So, um, not that I'm not in their <laughs> league or anything, but uh, it was nice that the PGA of America did that. The, uh, I also won the Distinguished Service Award, which is the highest honor the PGA of America has. So. All of those things were very humbling and much appreciated. In 2009, Dennis was appointed a spokesperson and national ambassador for the First Tee, an international youth development organization with a mission to positively impact the lives of young people through golf. The First Tee is a great group because they teach young people valuable things that will help them in their entire life. Yes, they learn about golf, which is a phenomenal lifetime recreation you can play long after you can't play the other sports. It's out in a nature-friendly environment. It uh, fulfills the need for recreation that every person has. It's a way to learn things. They teach valuable life lessons through the game of golf. Which, and I really like that concept, learning about life through golf. There's nine core values for the first tee, and they're all taught on the golf course. For example, one of the core values is honesty. Golf is unlike every other sport. You're the referee. Call penalties on yourself 
You have to keep your own score. So the young people are taught how to be honest on the golf course. It's then translated through all other aspects of their lives. And that's how they learn. It's great if, if you're a young person who wants to learn about golf and learn about life, the first tee is the best place I can think of to do that. To me, a dream is a real dream is not something you have at night. It's a positive thought in your head and your heart and doing whatever it takes to make it come true. That's a dream. And I think everyone should have one. Never too young. No expiration dates on dreams. You have to be willing to pay the price, work hard, persevere. But with those ingredients, I think Anyone can achieve success at anything. Every one of you know how the metal clubs sound. Listen up, be real quiet and take a listen here. See which sound you prefer. I actually like this sound better. <laughs> I think the, the thing that I guess I'm, I'm happiest about is that I was able to have a career in golf. That's what I really want to do. I've, I've been a professional golfer for 36 years. But I've had the opportunity to positively influence others. That's made it even better. First tee, Raritan Valley, New Jersey.